What's going on, YouTube? It's Big Drink, not the little one. We're back with another one. Listen, like I said, if you've seen the last video, which is going to be like right here at the end or like right here right now, it'll be somewhere. You'll be able to click it and go to that last video. It's about Smack and Stet getting into it. And in that, I mentioned that there's been some fig community world heat, some some tension, you know what I'm saying? Some 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 feelings behind the scenes. At least that's what it seems like. And that's what we've been able to get from the content that they've been putting out. So Adam22 also seems to have noticed that seems like he peeped a bit of the content and he had something to say on no jumper so we're gonna go ahead and react to that i want y'all to get a little bit more of the behind the scenes information that's kind of making me think that there's some feelings at fig Muni world and if you've been paying attention i mean between mac keem pun t rail smack there's always something going on between the gang you know what i mean so we're gonna get into that we're gonna talk more about it let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below but before we get into even starting with the reaction i fuck with y'all y'all fuck with me right so at 500 subscribers i'm giving away that hundred dollars make sure you're one of them if you have not already subscribed and turned on notifications do so now go hit that down there do those hit those buttons and you'll be entered in to win as long as you are a subscriber i see that you've interacted with the channel you'll be able to win i'm going to draw if i see that you've done those two things you'll be able to win if you're not one of those two people and you got selected i'm moving on to the next it's that easy it's, it's, it's that easy it's that easy make sure you like the video too man we're trying to get up there to 1k at 1k i got sign else for y'all anyway let's get right into this right into this content right here guys ups and downs that come with uh that come with shout out no jumper for the original content and, and, click the, uh, and recently the channel yeah, in the description we, we i'm sure they don't need that shout out but you know just to make sure that they get there on the camera but we could play the audio sure so let's check this thank you down i try to help build up every everything i've touched Bro, i've built up nigga you, everything i've touched i've built up nigga cool. everything everything i touched everything i touched i built up. everything i touched what you mean nigga when i popped up over here what you think you made that for me so here's the thing. I want to. I do want to say this. When homies start talking to each other like this, or people in the same group start talking to each other like this, it could be a huge dynamic shift. After you know what I'm saying? Some people can. Some people can have this type of conversation and go back just like it's nothing. That means they might really be real friends to be able to do that. But not everyone can. I just want to say that. I mean, what cool. you think you made you? So you think that you, I, when I said I that- I made you pop up here because it's smack. Nigga, so what, what are you, you talking about? about? That's what I'm telling you. Everything I touch turns into gold, you, nigga. nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Did you even about. know smack got, you didn't even know smack got shot when he got shot up. Did you know that? I don't give a fuck. So, 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 get back to the truth nothing to do with what The truth is, the truth is, nigga, you seen smack with Mac, nigga. You seen smack, exactly what I'm talking about. Let me talk, let me talk. Exactly what I'm talking about. Let me talk. Exactly what I'm talking about. with Mac, right? Yeah, and I seen Mac with smack. And I did the same thing I did for Mac for smack. I did the no, same thing. No, no, nigga. What are you talking about? Bro, I shed so light on these niggas, boy. They shed light on you, too. What you talking what you about? Who you fucking think you are? I shed light nigga? on these niggas, what you, boy. Who do you think you are? I'm Terrell Terrell shed light on you. What you talking nigga, about? Nigga, you wasn't Terrell Mix five years ago, nigga. What you talking about? Yes, I was. Look at the back of you, nigga. This is coming from A to D right here, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? That's beautiful. I was Terrell Mix ten years ago, boy. You wasn't on that on this. Fuck you talking about? You wasn't that on this. What you talking about? You wasn't that on this. I was Terrell Mix, though. Okay, so nigga, I'm telling you, listen what I'm trying to tell you. I was Terrell all right, let's be real. You ain't nobody. And uh, when you say that <laughs> everything you touch so turns easy. to gold, just name name one thing. Last game. Back on fig. Yes, and they had gold and boss yeah. tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Slow. Got bro. your ass. <laughs> Last King was kind of popping up. It was. Yeah, but I mean, gold? Like, gold <laughs> is gold because it holds its value okay, long okay, term. Okay, Thank you. That's the standard by which all currencies are set. He said, yeah. he, had, he, said he got oh, the lightest okay. touch, man. But I think see, I know. right there you see a crazy dynamic taking place because let's be real. Yes, when uh, Mac Wap and the Apollo and Keem and all these guys, when they came around and started fucking with T-Rail, he was kind of like really riding this wave of like he left No Jumper and so he's, he's bringing in, you know, serious views and serious money and so he's acting like big king shit, king ding a -ling, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? And so everybody's treating him accordingly. Mm -hmm. You fast forward a year and a half, all of a sudden your views. That is a fact. They definitely were really treating T Rel accordingly. And ever since uh, Adam started mentioning views, or maybe even they like, kind of realized that the views weren't the exact same, or at least that they were. Because um, the real thing is kind of more so that they, their views are just as high as T Rel's and back on fig. So it's like. 
you know? Let's make something shake. I think that's how Macwap feels a lot of the time. I can see it in his face when I'm watching all the shit. And, and you, you can see it in his moves. He doesn't even come to back on fake anymore. Your moves say more than anything. They're in the toilet. Apollo's doing more views than you. And all of a sudden, it's like, so why are we going to just uh -huh. continue to allow... Y'all like that? Like super fucking big. Y'all like that little smoke like, break image? Better than all of us. And yeah, you YouTube. Seeing, don't worry about nothing. Some of these true colors get exposed because your entire relationship with your friend group was based on you feeling like you had control over them because you thought that you were so much more popular than them. And now that things have settled in and everybody has kind of realized, well, your show ain't really more popular than mine. Now we have a situation in which everybody's yeah, and and they did they did the right thing. They went in, they they put their they put their talents on display on this platform, yeah. and then when he acted like a big headed fuck to them, they eventually took offense to it. I can't blame Keem for reacting the way that he's reacting here. Like, why are you acting like you're so much better than me? Are we supposed to be friends? Uh, are we supposed to be Mr. King King shit that's gonna look, make me feel wait, bad about. I don't know if Derrell really was here. acting that way towards them. He definitely was acting like he was big shit, but not really towards them. In the chat. Look, yo, Adam so, loves going at them like for right, being so like, broke. Why, that is crazy work. I do have some level of like sympathy, right? Because when you look at how like things play out, uh, the Apollo yo, dudes. Flacco is huge. Let's get to that. Why is how? Yo, you think it? Yo, is it? Does it hurt to be fat? Cause like, let me show y'all me. I don't know if y'all ever really seen the whole me. You know what I mean? Like, like niggas is not huge. Like, these pants are even big. Like, these are a 34. Dang. Niggas is fat. How the fuck? How the fuck does it feel to be fat like that? I'm dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. How does it feel to be fat? I feel like it hurts. Does it hurt to be fat? I'm dead ass. Maybe it's this, this is Zosky, but I'm they dead serious. Sort of saying, yo, yo, bro, like, bro, like, leave no jumper, man. Like, like, why are you over there, bro? Like, you don't need no jumper. Because they right? wanted to drag him down to their level. Right, yeah, right. Right. So look. Oh, right? so look. it's their fault. Yeah, look, right. So look. Macwap. <laughs> they told him, yo, listen, we going to be on, um, on, on Fridays and Mondays, you feel me, and help you grow this shit outside of the jumper. Mm. As soon as, you feel me, you know, like, let's see where I left, right? Things were booming. They were on every week, ain't miss a day. Mm. Now, MacWap is saying, uh, I'm not coming because I'm busy. Well, he is right? on tour with Kendrick and shit, right? No, but but or, before is, is that, he with Kendrick or Scuba Q or right? somebody? Is it, yeah, he was. He also that, lived far. You feel me? Wait, 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 wait so he got was, wait, so No, no. Keem, Keem lives yeah. in Anaheim. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I, I, for far. some reason, I know that. I don't know where Magwap lives. He was on Community on a Monday, <clears throat> but refused to go on back on fit. Wait, so he's Flacco. I thought that. So, so that's what got, I'm talking about. Your actions oh, speak more like than you. anything, bro. Niggas is noticing that you're not popping up. You're not popping up at the fake community world spots. What's going on, Magwap? That, it just makes it look <laughs> different. <laughs> makes it look a bit weird. He never got fired. <laughs> before the, <laughs> before the whole, the whole schoolboy Q, Kendrick, um, tour shit, right? bro. But you the way you tell man, yo, we gonna build this shit with you, and then once your shit start popping off and, and growing some like you feel me some views, you say, I, I really don't need you no more for views no more, right? I've like I, I've gotten the most I can get out of this. I'm gone. That's some disloyal shit. Now, right now, two is this though. Now listen. Now I'll be real. I feel like the mistake that T-Rell made, if I'm T-Rell, yo, all I needed was was Heather. Fit, listen. There's only one A-lister. Many people would say that Heather dragged the pod down. No, 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 no. I'm look. curious where you're going sure. with this. Many people are saying this. No, no, no. Look, if I'm t rail right, and I have back on Fig, right? Yo, I don't need no Mac, no key. But you need, you need Smack, though, right? Smack and Heather, and here's why Heather is the ace card. Yo, Heather is the only person there who... If she gives Heather an is big. On Heather is big, and, and, and I ain't gonna lie. Heather does give star power, especially to like a different audience. The back on Fig, uh, Fig Community World. You know, they like to speak about how like the female audience is really a huge thing, and it really is. And Heather brings that. Heather definitely brings that to the pod, um, and I think they know that. 
you know i think they know that and that's why she's still there because there's been uh there's been quite a quite a enough instances of people speak in their mind as to what they think about heather i I personally like heather i love looking at beautiful light-skinned women on 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 screen put her keep her on screen respectfully like i I truthfully just i just like heather like heather's dope she's a beautiful woman she should still be on screen why not uh but outside of that sometimes it does seem like she's women can come off a certain way on camera sometimes you know and that's it i guess every but niggas know that too and that's why t-rell i think t-rell's already accepted that the the fan base especially from coming from no jumper is going to be a certain type of fan base and they're going to feel a certain type of way about women regardless i think communities also experience that we're trying to do ladies night and uh yeah it just is what it is once in a blue moon every six months if they doesn't pay, make it right do a post. no 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 right no listen like like again like she's still like the most famous person i, I think i think a be- okay that that's a fair thing to say and i think and she's a great podcast I think saying, 20 dollar donation lush super legend bow down to the goat wow <laughs> right when you come to my town you just right? did that under the desk right. you feel me <laughs> you see now i got no phone access and you feel no. me shit like right? that's, that's the street talk right, right like, there listen right like she's the most famous person there so like that dynamic of her t rel and smack ain't need nobody else but t rel be so open, right? You feel me, right? If or, was like, but you can say the same thing about No Jumper, which is like oh, basically, yeah. you know, the other day I logged in and I saw like AD with 2,500 live viewers. And then I saw right next to it, Sada Baby live with 100 live viewers. Yeah. And I was like, that's me. That's all me. Like, that's 100% <laughs> because. So Adam thinks if you didn't, if, if, if AD didn't get, uh, didn't get, <laughs> didn't get didn't get up on no jumper he would be sitting there doing like 100 views with sada baby and shit it's possible it's possible it's possible i don't know i don't know what do y'all think comment down <laughs> i sat next to this chubby fuck for all those years and built him up for him to go Yo, off and do his own thing and it hilarious. is what it is Look and built him like up for him to go like off and ass. do his own thing and it is what it is because obviously the shit is still crumbling regardless but sada baby is dramatically more famous probably a lot better on camera and he's over here with a tiny fraction of the same view count which is a real testament to when you put somebody on how much you can build up and give them a fan base which you know in the streaming space we've seen this a million fucking times like if you are just like consistently on destiny's stream or on sneeko's stream or whatever the opportunity is right there for you to branch off and do your own thing if there's no like contractual thing that's keeping you from doing it now i would say that the best thing that they had going yeah. was the friend family vibe of, of smack and t-rel yeah, and heather and them all fact. together and, and me that. as a content creator that was always something that i kind of looked at and i was like fuck maybe i should have spent a little less time on interviews and more time cultivating doing multiple episodes per week that's just a bunch of homies hanging out but they reached an impasse at a certain point because realistically none of them are smart enough or good enough oh, on camera to man. really sustain Adam that in the long run shots adam be taking shots what gang hey shout out gangland neem what'd he be calling him fucking kiwi head kiwi head <laughs> Kiwi head is throwing jabbers. So they start doing a lot more interviews. The audience starts getting used to not tuning into the interviews because they don't really give a fuck. Like these people can't interview. So, you know, that that ultimately like they, they tried to like pivot their content into something that's more like no jumper went at around the same time that I started to realize that there was a lot of value in building up like a consistent host based platform that isn't so reliant on guests. Well, I, I, th- I think at the end of the day, this whole situation has to remind t rail of like this is the inverse of what yeah. he experienced a year and a half ago mm. he's literally you in this situation you yeah. know what i mean the people that he helped empower the mm. people that he helped use his cloud to put in position are now using this moment i never looked at it like that Go but he but over. no he's 100 times yeah. 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 but right he, no, no he you're right but, yeah. but he has so he much okay this is the thing about that was a very interesting point i mean if you look at my last video i kind of said the same thing it's very interesting how T. Rail kind of seems like he's becoming the person that he hated. Not that he's becoming Adam, but he, 
I mean, he's even noted, he's even said it on certain episodes. Fuck, I wish I had the uh, the give a fuck to like go take those clips. But he said it. He's compared himself to the white man in those types of in in multiple multiple instances in multiple ways in being the head of FMW and like how he has to deal with that shit and how people move at FMW. So it's interesting that Lush also is picking that up too. No jumper and like when they chose to leave and stuff is y'all, y'all no noticed that? Did y'all notice that? Did y'all notice that? Let me know. Staff of employees, a big ass building, multiple studios, um, money <laughs> to be able to actually pay people see that? in lieu of like just sharing profits with them, etc. Like there was a lot more things that you could hang your hat on that made No Jumper like a legitimate business that would have made sense to kind of stay on with and, and build your career. But for some like Keem, he's looking at T-Rell like, you're broke. You ain't got no oh, fucking followers. Fuck. You don't got no subscribers. You don't got no real fan base. And what fan base you do have seemingly is disintegrating based on the live viewers and the, and the view counts and everything. So it's like, how do you sustain having this big crazy fucking ego when you have nothing to base it on and like from my perspective if i've learned anything it's like i should have more human relationships with the host and 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 really any time that i feel the tendency to be a little bit of an egomaniac or whatever i need to like fight that urge because that's the number one thing that's gonna fuck up the group dynamic is by somebody acting like and, and i thought i was doing that we did the live show I didn't take 50% of the money and then have them split up the rest. And even yeah. that would have been reasonable. I said, we're going to split up everything besides the production costs. And I thought that people would like appreciate that. Instead, I got shit because I didn't want to spend money on a big light banner to go behind us or whatever, because it would have literally meant that everybody didn't get paid. And so like- A light banner that nobody missed. I didn't even yeah, know that, that was like a conversation. But, yeah. <laughs> and so it's, it's like, I love seeing them make the exact same mistakes and and have this shit blow up in their face because i also know that they don't have enough of a foundation to sustain them through these hard times whereas i felt like no jumper over the past year and a half has been able to persevere because there was an actual foundation to the business well and and, also and this is the moments where i agree with the white man Got to stare at the camera when I say it. These are the moments where I agree with the white man. If he's making incorrect business decisions like that, those are just bad decisions on the books, like a banner that's going to literally make everybody not get paid. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Especially if he's communicated this and, like, what, did you just not believe him? Did you think he was lying? Like, I, I don't fucking know. Why? Like, that's just dumb shit, and that's shit that you do when you're not thinking business-mindedly. This is the difference between blacks and whites sometimes. This is not what I believe, but what people say. Um, you know, like we, we would think we would t in that moment. I could see niggas be like, "Nigga, fuck that shit, nigga." We'll take the L right now. We we up. We're gonna get it back on it. Like, but no, you don't know that, and and that's dumb to do. Ultimately, if you're in the midst of the no w jumper system, and this is coming from somebody that was and then experienced life outside of that and then returned to it, right. I can say that it does create this false sense of security of like, shit. I see what's going on. I see the equipment. Mm. I can do this shit. I can do this shit on my own. Th th those right. thoughts are going to cross a motherfucker's mind mm. if you're an industrial. Not if you're logical, though. Like, not if you're logical. Like, I, I don't understand. Because as an engineer, like a recording artist, like people come do sessions, they think the same thing. Oh, let me go buy all this equipment. And then, you know, it's just going to sound like that. No, it won't, nigga. You don't know what you're doing. And even niggas with recording studios, trust me, I'm surrounded by a fucking ton of recording studios. A lot of time niggas don't know what they're doing at all. Shout out to my guys that know what the fuck they're doing. Love my niggas that know what they're doing around me. But a lot of niggas have no idea what they're doing. Trust and believe. Is person at a certain yeah, any aspect of, you, of life, you gotta work it every what day. You know. yeah, 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 yeah. But no question for you guys, so you though, right? You gotta go sure. fill the schedule up, have shit yeah, to good. talk about. Like, no, cool. it's not it's that so easy. Much, yeah. and like he said, but this is years of legacy. So, so the things that he's gonna Adam will be privy to as far as changes yeah, in the cool. dynamic of the YouTube landscape, yeah. he's gonna be aware of that before people that learn the game from him, cool. in, like just by nature, because you're already like the person you. Know what I mean? Josh, we got long, or, uh, having yeah. patience for go ahead. Having patience no. for OBS is one thing in his own. Of course, <laughs> by in and of itself. <laughs> but no question, right? I ain't such. When you can't deal with OBS, 
That's crazy work. Show BS in a minute. Is it giving yeah, problems? To a new, to a, is that the is first giving the, problems? The, the, the scale first? Yeah. No, no, hell no. That's the first to OBS. That's the first bar of your cipher. From the scale to OBS. That's crazy. Niggas do be from the scale to OBS and then be confused about how to use OBS. That's some funny shit. I'm not even. <laughs> hey, man. Listen. Listen, listen. Sometimes Kiwi head is funny, bro. Sometimes Kiwi head is funny. Let me know down below what y'all think, man. Do y'all think uh, that FMW is struggling right now, man? I mean, uh, Adams talked about it in many, many different ways. He's he's hated. He's hated and brought evidence. Sometimes even bringing correct evidence to the table is hate. Sometimes it's still hate. You know what I mean? So he's hated and brought some evidence to the table, brought up their social blade and other things like that. You know, as a content creator himself who knows what the payouts are on YouTube, he's discussed those things. And, and as he just said, you know, they've in the past made bad business decisions, wanting to make bad business decisions. And he believes that they're continuing to do so probably also as a content creator, a tour person who, or tour manager who's spent these amounts of money, sees what they have to be spending, knows what they could be getting back. He just knows that they have to be operating in the red in some capacities, or at least has an idea that they are. And I'm willing to agree with his idea. He's got more knowledge than me. I'm smart enough to sit here and listen to somebody else who's smarter in this specific instance or has more, um, you know, more uh, experience in this field than I. Um, and I, I, I believe both of them. If they sit here and say that they are making more money and they're willing to prove it and show it, then that's whatever. I personally don't give a fuck either way. But that's just in regards to what the, what the topic is. Anyway, y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think this is the beginning of the end of FMW? A lot of people have been seeing certain things for a while. Like I just said, Adam's been commenting on these things for a while. The decline in views, the, uh, the, the, the tension that's been happening, the tension that's been there at FMW between the cast, other characters on other pods, just different instances that have been happening. Look at my last video, Smack and Stet get into it. Stet's consistently into it with people there. There's just always some form of tension. Just let me know what y'all think down below, man. What do y'all think is going to go on with the Fig Community World Boys over the next year? Do y'all think they have another year? I really want to hear from y'all. Anyways, drank, big drank. I'm out of here. Also, do y'all know I make music? No, nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. Yeah, you probably know. If you don't, it don't really matter because you're going to know now. I got two new songs, you know what I'm saying? So go click these down here and down here, the new songs. And if you want to see more reactions, it's going to be up here uh, in that corner. Love y'all. See y'all in the next video, man. I'm out of this shit.